we have two types of accounts. First, we have the stock account, and second, we have the flow account. The stock account is measured at a certain point in time. Therefore, it refers to a snapshot in time. The flow account, on the other hand, is measured over a period of time. Therefore, it refers to an interval in time. The flow account is measured over a period of time, for example, a year. The income statement is an example of this, as it shows the revenues and expenses during the entire year, not a single day. And that's why we write the income statement as, for the year ended June 30th, 2019, for example, as it reflects the total revenues and expenses during the year. The stock account is measured at a certain point in time, for example, a specific day. The balance sheet is an example of this as it shows the assets, liabilities and equity at a certain point of time, as opposed to a whole year. This is because circumstances change day by day. For example, tomorrow the company may buy a machine, therefore assets will change. And that is why we write the balance sheet as, as of June 30th, 2019, in order to reflect that the total assets, liabilities and equity at the last day of the financial year. The last day of the financial year could be the end of June or the end of December. It depends on what country you're in. In order to estimate the statement of cash flows, we need to use both the income statement and the balance sheet. However, we have a little problem here. The income statement is estimated during a year, whereas the balance sheet is estimated in a day. We cannot compare the changes in a year to changes in a day. We need to compare apples with apples. Therefore, in order to be consistent and compare apples to apples, we need to convert the day into the year. This is done by getting the difference between the two consecutive balance sheets. We will get this difference of a balance sheet item in 2019, such as inventory, and use the same item from a balance sheet in 2018 in order to show approximately what happened to inventory during the year. Consequently, we will estimate the changes in inventory. We use delta, or the small triangle, which refers to changes in inventory, and this is estimated as inventory in 2019 minus inventory in 2018. The income statement shows what happened to profit during the year. Therefore, we do not use the little triangle which refers to changes in two years. Therefore, in order to estimate the statement of cash flows, we need to have one income statement and two balance sheets, such as the income statement of 2019 and the balance sheets of 2019 and 2018.